All right, guys, how's it going? My name is Size. It's Task Force Game. We've got Armor of Forger Experimental Update. Now, we are not going to say every single thing in this update. And it says Experimental. It will be coming. So the Experimental, everyone gets to jump on, test it out. This will be coming to the actual version. So the Experimental is just like a version in front of what we all play on anyway. Unless you're playing the Experimental. But I'm just going to scroll down quickly. We'll cover the fundamentals, but... Again, like, they don't drop an update for ages, and then all of a sudden, you get all of this stuff, man. So that is, if you see my scroll bar on the right, that is so much, honestly. So we're going to go through the added, uh, see what we can pick up and what we can see. I'm doing a load of armor videos lately, and they are sick, so please check them out. Let's go. Okay, Armor Forger, experimental updates, 0.9.2. 9.31 uh yep and this is attention soldiers gonna update the steam and xbox applications of the game to game update today the 29th uh they'll be down between 12 and 15 cet so wow okay so lots of new features this is what we want usually it's a lot of fixes there's probably a lot of fixes as well this is a lot of new features so Ballistic protection. Don't even know what this is going to look like. We're going to have to jump on and have a look at this stuff, man. Uh, basic deployment of weapons. Conflict. you got a clean sweep factor. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, medical vehicles. So they have... I don't know if we're going to get some pictures down there. I think there's a medical Humvee in there now. Um, so we're going to have to have a look at that. A basic health system. So we might have some on the hood. Or something like that. Unconscious. So unconsciousness. Um... Armor 2, Armor 3, if you get shot on the chest, you've got armor on, you get hit with a 9mm or something like that, doesn't penetrate the armor, boom, screen goes black, blackout. So that's that. Respawn system refactor, key binding menus, server authority vehicles, uh, ping and packet loss, visualization, so you'll be able to see your ping and your packet loss on the screen. Um, I'm guessing you can put it on or off toggle. Um, important information for modders and players, so if um, if you're in there doing the mods and stuff. Helicopters may not work as intended. I mean, have they? <laughs> so far, <laughs> since some networking changes have already been branched into 0.9.9, .9, the community used unfinished components to create their current mods, which we no longer support. So, modders might be taken out. We, we got the Blackhawks. We are playing a second ranger battalion uh, servers. The Blackhawks can crash the server, so we don't have a lot of them about. Little birds seem to be fine. You can have like three of them flying about at once. Um, the Chinook does some crazy barrel roll thing right now. But, you know, they're in there. It's fine. Uh, as mentioned in the last dev report, we introduced major updates 0.9a, include the changes, server configuration, blah, blah, blah. We've covered that video. Okay, so the change of game. Added health package features. Weapon deployment feature. Uh, vehicles, we've just gone through this. Uh, head aiming limits for unconscious characters. Ping and packet loss uh, for the log stats as well. Diagnostic for toggling unconsciousness and forcing unconscious pose. Uh, sound event for when a character gets hit by a projectile from a controlled character. Okay. Well, it's not AI. So an actual person then, is it? Um, extra error logging to base user action setup gear. Yeah, like I said, let's just see what's, what's packing through because I've barely scraped the surface of this. Um... Missing uh, init calls, <laughs> init proof. <laughs> Extra parameter to weapon targeting system. Look at all this added support for suppressing uh, script access, teleportation of ragdolls when teleporting character. So someone um, was saying the second range of Italian guy vape was saying uh, they got the ragdoll physics and stuff like that. The G-Force physics as well. So, like in Star Citizen, if you do, if you whip your ship around too much, the, rush, the blood rushes to your head and you can, like, pass out. So, I wonder if we're going to put that in helicopters, like the G-Force stuff. That'd be pretty cool. Um, magazine ammo count is now correctly saved when using the saving loadout. So, if you save your loadout and you haven't put a mag in your gun yet, uh, you'll every time you spawn, you won't have a mag in your gun. So, make sure that's good. Uh, there's an eject action. Possibility to handle bone transformation in interpolation step. Wow. Radio messages. Um, blah, blah, blah. Turret entity class. 
I'm just picking out what's what's here guys what's good for me I mean, feel free to pause or even you know the link for this will be in the description so give it a whip for yourself you, you probably you know you can sit and have a drink and listen to me waffle on about all these patch notes and stuff like that anyway uh, it's probably a bit easy and you just get a basic, a basic gist of what what is going on look at all this stuff that's been added man script API and all this stuff this is really good for modders the game do we want to see this I don't, we haven't even got on to the you know after they added yet so this is nuts New GM deploy menu images. Uh, that's game master. So what else we got? New hit zone config added. Let's say forgotten line. Looking for like uh, naked campaign prefab. Looking for like new weapons and stuff like that online. Wow man, just insane. Yeah, ragdoll processing is now done together with keyframe. Might get a few cooler uh, explosion things. Uh, disable prediction for non ads view for weapon smoothness that's always a good thing so we're on to the changes now so we just got off the added onto the changed uh vehicle has physics disabled while a client is no longer the owner okay you go through 2d map export api refactors just going through players are no longer but automatically into the group and they change faction all right, so when you change faction, you'll be able to put yourself in your own group, like group one, group two, etc. Uh, separate control hints for toolbar menu. Oh my God, we're caught the way down. Change map line, delete button sounds. Change conflict, FIA presence layout. Or it really, uh, reload, what's this for? Or a reload time increased to 75 seconds. Yeah, changed everything. New M1 Hell. It's like a, a new game, man. Usually you get these small updates with a couple of lines. Look at the size of this thing, man. Fixed melee uh, IK node properly this <laughs> this time. <laughs> nice armor. Um, wow. Change, change. Is we're on to the tweaks now. AI weapon selection can reload under slung grenade launcher and RPG muzzles now. Uh, disabled engine start collective input AI perception component. We've got some. I wonder if we've got some photos of the new stuff. Um, tweaks M997 slot setup. The UAZ collision damage setup. M997 remove obsolete redefines car control component. Well, a lot of that fixed. Here you go. Look at this. This is all the fixed stuff. So. We're just going to scroll down. If any of you guys have had any pro uh, problems with the game or anything or any bugs that are in there, do report, man. I've, I've tweeted them myself. Someone commented on my video and put, I've had an issue. And I've just tweeted them it. And they've just said, yep, yeah, we've done that now. And I'm like, wow. So they are on it. Look at all this. This is all the fixed stuff. So you'll just probably notice the game being a lot smoother and just a lot better. Every time we get one of these fat updates. Look at all this stuff, man. We're just going to skip past the fixed. See if we can find the added. Because if you're probably like me, you know. Not even remove some stuff there. I don't know what that is. Stability. Fixed, fixed, fixed. Fixed, fixed. Right, we all want the crashes to fix. You get kicked out multiple times. It's just it's normal for a game like this, man. It's the bridge to armor 4. Armor 3, armor 4. You've got Reforger bang in the middle. This is all... This is practice. This is the practice run for when Armour 4 comes out, boys and girls. Audio there. Uh, and Workbench as well. Added script editors and stuff. Look for all this sort of stuff. So if you're modding, shout out in the comments. Let me know what you're working on. Backend workshop server hosting. All this sort of stuff. Known issues. Okay. So these are ones probably not fixed. Bleed icon is not visible in the inventory all vehicles will disappear after 10 minutes of not using them okay players aren't able to join their friends through the steam friend list ah that's a known issue okay xbox using ads um sprinting sprinting probably or opening the radial menu can be interrupted and the player will need to use the action there again Warning, server performance can be greatly reduced when re replicating a high number of characters, players plus AIs, and the issue becomes more prominent will increase limits, making it difficult to handle 128 players and 200 plus AI. Obviously, if there's 128 players in a server, we add like, I don't know, 40 or 50 people in a server, and we add 
you know, we had 10 vehicles or something and it was a lag fest, man, with AI as well. So just be careful if you're doing that sort of stuff. Um, back to the top. Yeah, so this is the experimental update. This is probably the stuff we're interested in. You know, the adding of things, which is nice, but also the behind the scenes stuff, like you just get an update and without even realizing things that had been a pain before are fixed. And this is the whole point of this game, like I was saying. Uh, let me just have a look one second. So, Medical Humvee um, expects something that looks like this big old blocky thing. And uh, Ballistic Protection. So, I don't know if you remember this sort of ballistic protection out of Armour 3. You used to get the carrier GL rigs and all this sort of stuff, the modular carrier rigs. Um, so, maybe something like that. Maybe a bit more 80s. So, we're going to have to see what happens. And that's the vehicle. So, yeah, guys, without boring your absolute life away, uh, reading through all this. Uh, yeah, is there anything that you've picked up on? Anything you want to talk about? Put it in the comments below. We've just gone through and it's really just an update to say they are still smashing it out it's a year down the line reforge is in a great place it looks great it's playing great i'm on it all the time right now uh on the modded stuff so yeah tell me what you think to the game we play it on xbox pc you want to buy it let me know and uh i'll catch you next one guys thanks very much for watching peace